My name's Sarah and I'm from Ascot Vale. Hi, my name's Courtney, I'm from Blackburn. I'm Ashley and I'm from the southeast suburbs of Melbourne. Hi, my name's Alex Reed. I live in Maribyrnong and I go to the National Academy of Beauty. So I started getting interested in makeup after you know watching movies and seeing how special effects makeup and things like that are done. I've sort of always been interested in makeup, especially as a little kid. My mum would be the type to come home and her little girls sit playing with the lipstick and got it all over her face. The colour um, and the vibrancy and the opportunity to make things colourful. My housemate at the time said, you know, you're really good at makeup. You always do all the girls' makeup before you go out. Why don't you? try and pursue that career. I was looking around for courses for a while of things that could help me develop my skills using special effects makeup and that's how I found the National Academy of Beauty. And they've really pushed me to where I am now. Uh, probably the best day of the course was when we aged with the latex and you reveal yourself because you work on each other as an 80 year old person and it's hilarious to see yourself old <laughs> and to be walking around with everybody in the class you know pretending to be old it was just hilarious great fun drag makeup you have to bring in a boy and it's hard to find one boys without beards and two boys that'll let you put makeup on their face um, so my friend came down and he brought one of his friends with him but he didn't tell his friend that they were coming to do drag makeup he just said they were going to the city to hang out and so he turned up met me here at the school and then he goes, oh, by the way, we're doing drag makeup today. So he had to sit in the corner, very unhappy, while girls were applying makeup to his face. That was pretty hilarious. This is like fresh into the course, so I hadn't really settled down with anyone. And yeah, so I made a pun about mascara. Don't ask me what it was, because I have no idea what it was, but it was really bad. And when I finished it, I'm just like, puns. So it was really embarrassing, the whole class started laughing and then ever since then they just haven't let me down, live it down. I want to keep building up my freelancing. Um, I also want to specialise more in special effects, so I want to develop those skills more and um, you know, work on sort of building prosthetics and things like that. I hope to get into special effects behind movies or TV shows and things like that with the gory side of it all. I'd really love to do makeup for the deceased, as in funeral makeup. I think it would be lovely because it's a line of work that not many people are attracted to, and I think it would be great for me to use my skills in that area. Actually, while I was at the, the school, I got a job with Mecca Maxima, and so I did a lot of retail makeup for a while, and that was really, really fun. And that gave me a lot of opportunities to talk to big name brands and drill my, my skills that I learnt here and then from there I've decided to take my own business. The nuts and bolts of how to run your business, how to set yourself up, how to promote yourself, what to charge, um, how to conduct yourself with clients. Um, networking was a big one and being able to work out um, our own finances so we could be all, like independent ourselves. You're not going to learn how to run your own business properly on your own. So it was fantastic to go through all of that and to know that when I leave the course, I'm ready.